Reds hosting the Cardinals, and the Cardinals are minus 102 on the money line. The Reds are minus 116. The over-under is 9.5 runs. The Cardinals laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Reds getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 182, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. This game is a potential game danger. 26% chance of rain, 73 degrees, 15 mile an hour winds blowing out. Not that the wind really affected today's game that went under, and I'm really irritated by that, but... It happens. Gibson pitched once against the Cardinals last year as a member, against the Reds last year as a member of the Orioles. Four and two thirds, six runs, six earned. They lost 11 7. He struck out six. Abbott pitched once against the Cardinals last year. Four innings, six runs, six earned. They lost nine four. He struck out three. Head to head, they're five and five against each other. The road team is six and four. The favorites, five and five on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is six and four. There have been three one-run games in their last 10. The under is hitting their last two. The over-under is 5-5. And and the over-under at uh, 9.5 runs is 5-5. The Cardinals are 3-2 in Gibson's last five starts. They've won his last two starts. The over is hitting his last three starts. 5-3, 5.4 hits, 2.8 runs, two of which were earned. 5.2 strikeouts, 2.2 walks, 0.4 home runs, 93.4 pitches, and then 17.2 pitches per inning. For Abbott, they are two and three in his last five starts. The under has hit in his last five starts. Five and two thirds innings pitched, 5.4 hits, 1.8 earned runs, 4.6 strikeouts, 0.8 walks, 1.2 home runs, 88.8 pitches, and 15.4 pitches per inning. And he's given up a home run in four out of his last five starts. And in two of those starts, he gave up multiple home runs, but he did not give up a home run in his last outing. The Cardinals are 7-3 and three in their last 10. The Reds snapped that uh, winning streak today. 9 runs, 13 runs, 7 runs, 4 runs. And their over is 7-3 and three in their last 10, but the under is hitting their last 2. 5 runs and a win, 7 runs and a win, 4 runs and a win, 1 run and a loss. For the Reds, they're 5-5 five and five in their last 10, and they're on a 4-game winning streak. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10. The under is hitting their last 3. 15 runs, 4 runs, 5 runs, 4 runs. Nine runs and a win, three runs and a win, four runs and a win, three runs and a win. In the last three games that the Reds have played, their opponent has scored one run. I'm going to take the Reds with the money line. I will take the Reds laying the runs. Oh, I believe the Reds are getting runs in this one. And I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.